the entrance antiphon, the waves of death rose about me, the pain of the netherworld surrounded me. In my anguish I called to the Lord, and in his holy temple he heard my voice. Good morning. The mass for today is being offered for In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries on first Saturday as we call to mind our sins and also God's gracious mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May the working of your mercy, O Lord, we pray, direct our hearts aright, for without your grace we cannot find favor in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I knew their plot because the Lord informed me. At that time you, O oh Lord, showed me their doings. Yet I, like a trusting lamb led to the slaughter, had not realized that they were hatching plots against me. Let us destroy the tree in its vigor. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name will be spoken no more. But you, O Lord of hosts, O just judge, searcher of mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to our song, O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and rescue me, lest I become like the lion's prey, to be torn to pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Do me justice, O Lord, because I am just, and because of the innocence that is mine. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but sustain the just, O searcher of heart and soul, O just God. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. A shield before me is God, who saves the upright of heart. A just judge is God, a God who punishes day by day. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Scripture say that the Christ will be of David's family and come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived. 
So a division occurred in the crowd because of him. Some of them even wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. So the guards went to the chief priests and, and Pharisees who asked them, why did you not bring him? The guards answered, never before has anyone spoken like this man. So the Pharisees answered them, have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, is accursed. Then Nicodemus, one of their members who had come to Jesus earlier, said to them, Does our law condemn a man before it first hears him and finds out what he is doing? They answered and said to him, You are not from Galilee also, are you? Look and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. Then each went to his own house. The Gospel of the Lord. So first of all, just to say, the weather people are saying that all oh, this is going to be over by 11 when we start our festival. So that's what we're praying for. I, I told Father Andrew, I said, I hope you're not praying for rain to avoid getting in the donkey booth because <laughs> you're getting in the donkey booth, rain or shine. So uh, again, this has been a whole theme this week, and we see it basically continue today. Uh, of a division about Jesus. The uh, religious leaders are pretty consistent uh, in finding nothing spectacular about Jesus. They think he's a heretic. Uh, they think he's a blasphemer. They have nothing good to say about Jesus. And they've convinced many of the crowd as well. But as you hear, there are people in the crowd who are taken in by Jesus. They listen to him speak and they go, Nobody's ever spoken like this before. He has an intimacy with God, and it's clear. And it's like he's speaking from his heart, from his relationship with God, rather than just repeating what others have said. Uh, and so they're taken, of course, that and also his signs and miracles as well. So some are taken in by him. Uh, even some of the temple guards, this really upsets the Pharisees. Some of the temple guards says, never before has anyone spoken like this man. And they castigate the temple guards and, and tell them, you don't know what you're talking about. You're completely ignorant of the religious law. And finally, we see a little chink in the armor when Nicodemus, whom we know was, a, was one of the Pharisees and a member of the ruling body of the Pharisees, the Sanhedrin, he comes out and says, can we condemn a man without giving him the opportunity to speak his peace? So we see that Jesus has followers, people who believe in him, but a whole lot of people who are against him. And uh, as often happens, and we know this in our day and time, uh, a few people who advocate for what is evil, a few people who stand against what God is for, they can make so much noise and be so disruptive that they can end up winning the day. And we have to be careful about this in our time. And they say that, uh, uh, that oftentimes uh, we talk about the silent majority. Um, sometimes the silent majority needs to speak up. They didn't do this in the case of Jesus. They got very, very timid uh, and very reticent to say anything in favor of Jesus. And as a result, we know what happened to Jesus. But we also know that through God, God brought our redemption and our salvation. So uh, the last line of the gospel, I think, maybe is the most sad. So one group said this, one group said that, then each went to his own house. Isn't that what happens when we get into an argument with somebody, especially over something political or something religious? We get all worked up over it, and then what happens? Each goes to his or her own house. That's a, that's a symbol or a sign, a metaphor for division between people. Uh, no longer communicating. Uh, and when this happens, then we, well, we see what, what this has done in our world. We see what it's even done in Christianity. People go to their own house. They 
uh, put up in areas of division and suddenly we have people that don't talk and don't communicate and we have a lot of, a lot of misery and problems in our world. So um, let's look at the scripture today and those of us who are in Mass on a Saturday morning, I, I, I hope we've all pitched our tent with Christ because he has pitched his tent with us. So, uh, and, and let us ask God for the times when we need to speak up. Um, we don't want to be uh, nagging crazy Christians, but on the other hand, we want to be able to speak the truth when somebody has been won over by a false, worldly, secular, and ultimately evil ideology. So let's, uh, let's uh, look at the people who were favorable to Jesus and ask us for the grace when our moment comes that we will be able to stand tall with them. Please stand as we bring our prayers and deeds to God our Heavenly Father. For, for church leaders, may God generously pour His Spirit upon them as they guide their flocks. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For local leaders, may the Holy Spirit empower them in their work for justice, especially for the most vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are suffering in mind, body, or spirit, may the Holy Spirit bring them healing and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for peace in Ukraine, uh, also for a clearing of the weather for today's festival, uh, and we continue to pray for the storm damaged people in Arabia. We invoke the intercession of Our Lady on First Saturday when we remember the uh, apparitions of Our Lady of Fatima. Let us pray to Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And now our family prayer. Loving and faithful God, through the years the people of our archdiocese, have appreciated the prayers and love of Our Lady of Pomsakoa in times of war, disaster, epidemic, and illness. We come to you, Father, with Mary, our mother, and ask you to help us in the battle of today against violence, murder, and racism. We implore you to give us your wisdom that we may build a community founded on the values of Jesus, which gives respect for the life and dignity of all people. Bless parents that they may form their children in faith. Bless and protect our youth that they may be peacemakers of our time. Give consolation to those who have lost loved ones through violence. Hear our prayer and give us the perseverance to be a voice for life and human dignity in our community. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Our Lady of Pumps up Lord, hasten to help us on the heavy end of the field. Pray for us that we may be a holy family. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit from the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Bless 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, with these oblations you receive from our hands, that even when our wills are defiant, constrain them mercifully to, to turn to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory, our Bishop, his fellow bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for by my teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank you. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter upon my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion antiphon by the precious blood of Christ, the blood of a spotless and unblemished lamb, we have been redeemed.
Let us pray. May your holy gifts purify us, O Lord, we pray, and by their working render us fully pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please bow down for the Lenten blessing. Look upon your people, O Lord, and as they draw near to the coming festivities, bestow upon them abundance of heavenly grace, that, helped by the consolation of this world, they may be impelled more readily toward higher goods that cannot be seen through Christ our Lord. Amen. So the festival is from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. tonight. There's basically all kinds of all kinds of food, activities, uh, music, dancing, just many, many things to uh, entertain us. I only went to one of these from three years ago because the last few years have been canceled due to COVID, but three years ago it was really phenomenal. It was a phenomenal community event, so I hope you can enjoy it today. And uh, also a reminder that today is First Saturday. We'll have a devotional prayer struggle here at Fatima immediately after Mass, and we have uh, several sign-ups needed for our chapel. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Have a great day. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan. And all the evil spirits who call about the world seeking the ruin of souls.